Hello Psychonauts, how are you today? I'm glad you're here in this video with me. Um, today I have a lot of things to talk to you about and you may be wondering what I'm gonna possibly go on about in this video and I'm honestly wondering the same thing so we can find out together. I think this video will serve as a little peek inside my mind and how it works and the sort of connections that I like to make, the connections I have fun with making. Anyway, I told you I was going to talk about sex. If you know anything about me at this point, you'll realize that I'm not shy to talk about it. And I think that there's value in it. And I think we'll, we'll find that value together. But today, we are going to talk about Schrodinger. Schrodinger, Erwin Schrodinger, happens to be one of my favorite physicists. And not really because of his work in physics, although I love his work in physics, I appreciate it, but more so his his philosophical outlook and some of his ideas in that respect. Um, I've made a video on Schrodinger before and he's he talks about oneness of mind and I've quoted him, he says, in truth there is only one mind, Multi multiplicity is only apparent. And this is something that I highly resonate with, especially someone who's been in these high psychedelic type states of consciousness. Anyway, so I wanted to talk to you about... <sighs> I wanted to talk to you about sex, actually. Um, if you also haven't noticed, I, I have a lot of sexual energy. Um, it's only rock and roll, you know, don't worry about it. Uh, no, but it's true. I have a lot of sexual energy. I've always had a lot of sexual energy and it's always something I've tried to understand about myself and psychedelics are definitely a lens through which I can better understand myself with respect to sex and my own sexuality and yeah, the point is I have a lot of it. I have a lot of it and I don't know, I, I've, I've started to open up a little bit more about showing that because it feels nice to be able to have an outlet for it and to be able to express it. And I guess that's what I'm getting at. I did create an outlet for it. Uh, <laughs> we'll put the pieces together, trust me. By some point, I'll, I'll hand you all of the pieces so you can put them together. Um... <laughs> But I was thinking during my trip, there was actually this theme that came up about what it is to be a self. Like what it even means to be a self. Like it's, it's a very strange thing to be anything at all, uh, let alone a self. Um, and I thought of this, this quote from Schrodinger and it's one of my favorite quotes about like what it even is. It really captures this like abstract, this abstract, ephemeral quality of selfhood. Um, so here it is. No self stands alone. Behind it stretches an immense chain of physical and as a special class within the whole mental events to which it belongs as a reacting member and which it carries on through the condition at any moment of its somatic, especially its cerebral system and through education and tradition by word, by writing, by monument, by manners, by way of life, by a newly shaped environment, by so much that a thousand words would not exhaust it, by all that I say, the self is not so much linked with what happened to its ancestors, it is not so much the product and merely the product of all that, but rather in the strictest sense of the word, the same thing as all that, the strict, direct continuation of it, just as the self aged 50 is the continuation of the self aged 40. So this was an interesting theme in my trip. Um, what it means to be a self. I, I feel like I'm just, I think the, the important part is I'm not merely the product of all that came before me. Not merely the product of it, I am it. Like it's all the same process continuing. Anyway, I used to study physics. Did you know that I was a physics student? Um, I decided to major in physics because 
Well, for one, I was in love with the universe, but I also just wanted to understand reality. I knew all of my peers were going to college to just game play. You know, you go to college to, to get a degree, to get a job, to get money, to buy things that you don't need. And, you know, I never really, even at a young age, even, you know, like at 18, 19 years old, when I'm starting out at college, I didn't want that to be why I was pursuing an education. Like, I felt like I was one of the only people left that I just genuinely wanted to learn and I genuinely wanted to understand the world around me and the universe. So that's why I pursued physics. Um, but what does this have to do with sex? What does physics have to do with sex? I don't know, I think about physics and sex <laughs> in the same way sometimes. I think it's, it's something about like a drive for something, like a hunger for life, a hunger for understanding, for experience. <clears throat> I've always found that this sort of like mental quality that I have, this this intellectual passion, this 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 desire for understanding, this quest for knowledge, for just figuring out what actually is going on. In some ways, it's very like intimately connected with my own sexuality and my own sex drive. I feel in a lot of ways, it's amplified it to the nth degree. Um, I don't know. I feel like I'm not alone in this. I feel like there's a lot of very intelligent people who are also <laughs> highly sexual. Although it's something that you might not always think about. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. For I think for a long time, I think it changes. But for a long time, there's like the association of like nerdiness or you know, being very involved with, um, you know, coming off as intelligent or smart. And that like kind of like not going with sexuality, that being like distinctly different from sexuality, being some sort of like anti-sexuality. I don't know. Who knows what I'm talking about really, but um, I did once say in a trip, I said, I like chess in the same way that I like sex. And I found that to be interesting. <laughs> that I like to play chess in the same way that I like to have sex. It probably just has to do with dopamine or something. I don't know. Um, but what were the pieces I was going to put together? If you've stuck around long enough, maybe you're interested enough to check this out. And I hope you can understand my, my reasons for doing so. Uh... But it did, I did, I made an OnlyFans account, by the way. It's a true fact. <laughs> it's true. Um, I think it's an interesting, I, I think it's a very, it's a very hot topic. Um, you know, I, I don't want to shy away from controversy. It's interesting to me. I find it interesting. Um, <sighs> no, but the whole, the whole theme of it is is very psychedelically inspired. And for me, not only is it a way to express myself sexually, it's, I see it as a form of art and artistic expression. I see it just as another way that I can create. I told you I have so much sexual energy and as much as I channel it into things that aren't sex, you know, I can always channel it into just sex itself too. And it kind of works like that. And, uh, you know, I've thought about this all very deeply. It's not that I've only thought about it on a superficial level. I've thought about it on so many multi-dimensional levels. Like, I think people, do you realize that? Do you realize that you're not me? You realize if I was you, I would be you. And if you were me, you would be me. <laughs> and who even knows if free will exists? I don't know. It's There's a lot of things to think about. There's a lot of things to consider. There's a lot of ways that you can think about things on multiple different levels. I like thinking, I like thinking, and <laughs> I think being such a mind person, I told you I was a mind person, I think maybe that's one of the reasons why I'm also such a sexual person. I don't know, maybe it's an escape from my mind in some way. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I enjoy it. I have fun with it. And uh, if you want to check it out, there is stuff on there. And like I said, it's going to be fun. I'm just playing around. I like to play around. I did make a sort of a... <laughs> I kind of uh, made a signature for myself. 
and it's Schrodinger's sex kitten. The superposition of a good girl and something that I won't say on YouTube. Um, but you can check that out. Uh, observe and find out. Collapse the superposition. Collapse the wave function. You see, it's up to you, the observer. You can interact with me if you're if you're interested. You can completely change my reality. Like, I don't know. Do you guys believe in free will? It's a good question. I I think it's a complicated question. I did like CM Harris's thoughts on it. Uh, it's interesting. Anyway, this is my video on psychedelic sex and Schrodinger. <laughs> I don't know how that went, but I hope you all enjoy it. I don't know who's gonna watch this. I have no idea, no idea. But yeah, feel free to uh, check that out. Uh, you can ask me questions, whatever you'd like. I'll see you next time.